Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's November 22nd, uh, 2018. <clears throat> we um, just uh, finished packing up camp. Got our uh, liquid uh, liquid coffee going <clears throat> for the for the haul, and uh, getting ready to put on the backpack and start our day. Um, it's really quite cold last night. The, uh, the Thermarest Parsec did a great job. I mean, it got down to 28, and uh, I was uh, comfortable inside with just um, just my thermals on and um, and a hat on my head. Um, but I did, I did wake up to a, a lot of condensation, <clears throat> and um, excuse me, and uh, and and it was brisk. Um, I do like the. Uh, Thermarest um, Z pad underneath that made um, that made it really. I, I didn't take it last time, and I brought it this time for the extra warmth. Uh, I think that made a huge difference. Um, but it was also much easier uh, getting moving this morning. You know, old bones, knees, and uh, you know while you're inside your tent just packing everything up, it just makes it it makes it a little easier. And um, I actually <clears throat> I actually used it to uh, stretch out on it a little bit as well. So. Um, just wanted to uh, say hi from the trail, and um, yeah, a short trip but a sweet one. So um, I guess that's going to do it for now. We'll see you down the way. Good afternoon. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we are back at the uh, Shawnee uh, National Forest, I guess it's called the Backpack Trailhead. Um, basically it's on um, State Highway 125 here. Um, we uh, Left this morning, broke camp about 7:30. Uh, fueled up on some caffeine, uh, a couple kind bars, and um, I opted to uh, road trip it back, um, which involved taking uh, State Forest Road Six to. <laughs> That was that was up and down enough as it was uh, back to State uh, Forest Road number three back to uh, State Highway 125 and then I had to walk up 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 to the trailhead. Um, changed clothes real fast and um, felt much more comfortable. Uh, the weather right now is beautiful outside. I mean it's absolutely gorgeous. There's a steady breeze blowing you know from behind me. Um, temperatures. Know, probably in the low, low, high 40s, low 50s. Uh, the sun being out makes a big difference. Um, and the reason I uh, decided to, and I'm, I'm disappointed to a point, and I'm not disappointed either because um, yeah, it's been my experience. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to your body. And um, yesterday. Uh, yeah, that uh, those first uh, six miles um, had some pretty intense elevation changes, um, and toward the end, uh, yeah, my my uh, my quads were just on fire, and I was like, "Wow, this is crazy." Um, maybe it's just I don't know. Um, it's obviously the trail is different than what I was hiking on before. I mean, I did have some ups and downs when I was in the Porcupine Mountains, but uh, not the elevation changes like I had here. Um, this uh, this is only uh, 
36, they say 36 and a half, 40 mile loop. Um, but um, they do say this is the, you know, some of the uh, most rugged terrain in, um, in Ohio. It is toward the southern end and uh, it is in the Appalachian foothills and uh, it's, it's beautiful, crazy beautiful. But um, I, I uh, woke up this morning and um, I stretched a little bit and I was like, ooh, um, yeah, we're not, I'm not going to push it. Um, one, again, by myself, two, it's thanks. It's Thanksgiving. Who wants to get injured on Thanksgiving, right? And, uh, and I thought, you know, just doing the road walk back would be, um, I mean, it, it's, it's great exercise. I, the pack was on me the whole time. Um, my legs did get a workout. I mean, there were still some uh, some ups and downs on the, on the road. Um, and my, you know, my, my feet are probably a little more tender, I guess, maybe, because the last I don't know, last mile and a half of it was just uh, black asphalt, so um, that always bangs on the knees a little bit. They're, they're feeling a little tender when I got, got back to the vehicle. So I just want, um, I feel a little disappointed that I didn't, you know, get, get to get to, the, you know, the all, all 36 or 40 miles and do the whole loop. Um, I, last night I was really contemplating, I, I, I laid in my sleeping bag and looked at maps for a while and I was trying to figure out you know, could I get to camp three and uh, crash another night and then do, you know, the two and a half miles back up 125 here to get to the trailhead. And um, I thought, well, you know, we'll just see how, you know, how we feel in the morning. And uh, I woke up this morning and I'm like, ooh, yeah. Just, I just didn't want to push it. Um, so uh, disappointed, but not disappointed. Um, obviously this is a work in progress and, um, this is definitely challenging. I think uh, if anybody wanted to see if they were uh, fit for a through hike, um, come spend you know three, four, five days here and do this 40 mile loop, and um, it's it's going to let you know if you're uh, if you're ready to go. So I'm, I'm glad I came. Um, again, a beautiful park, beautiful views. Um, you know, you've seen some of those. Uh, and some of the, the, the pictures and some of the video uh, before this one. Um, but I certainly think, uh, man, I'll come back. Um, I just need to uh, strengthen up those legs a little bit more and um, get my endurance up. Uh, still, still, still a little bit yet. I was, um, <laughs> I was sucking some gas for a while. So, uh, um, yeah, it's all, like I said, all learning process. So, that's it for now. I'm gonna jump in the car and head home. Uh, I might still be able to make it home for some pumpkin pie. Um, again, for those of you that check in and actually enjoy these videos, um, I appreciate you. You know, if you if there's something you liked and you feel like you want to click the like button down down there, uh, go ahead and do that. That'd be fantastic. Leave me a comment as well. Um, constructive criticism is always good. And uh, we'll see what we can do about our next trip coming up in December. All right. For now, that's going to do it. We'll see you down the way.